<laughs> Here I have a Stanley corner clamp. Ding! And I've inherited these and I thought I'd just do a little review on them. Well, welcome to my woodworking channel, Wally Bra, the place you will learn tips and tricks and projects from me. Woodworking since 1989, and you know what to do? Hammer that subscribe button. Let's get back to the video. Catch up on my uh, Stanley corner clamps. And uh, I've been living with them for a little while now, so I thought I'd just do a review on them. So let's get to it. Well, here we are in my workshop today, my little modest workshop, and I have these two <laughs> Stanley 83122 <laughs> Stanley Bailey, I think, or they're just a Stanley on Stanley uh, corner clamps. And I found them to be quite useful. Now, for a variety of reasons, one is they clamp corners, obviously, that's quite helpful at times when you try and manipulate two bits of wood together, corner to corner, and you think, oh god, I had to hold that. Well, one of these would help you all, preferably two, or maybe even four. I've got two. I've inherited these off my late father, Malcolm the Boat, and um, I've found them quite useful. And you can still buy these on Amazon, I've seen them on there. So, um, yeah, I thought that's, they're quite impressive. I've ordered another couple of these, I think. But I'm quite happy with them, to be fair. They're solid, all metal construction, apart from obviously the handle, and the um, little the screw mechanism here is steel, but the bolt parts of them is like a solid plastic, which is fine, you know, I'm not going to complain that, because you don't require a huge amount of pressure anyway with a corner clamp. Now, how we use these, well, very variety of ways you can use them. Here I'm putting together a crappy carcass, which is literally just going to be for the workshop, so I'm creating basically a box, corner to corner box, and put the face frame on and bit of edging around the top. But it, this is going to help me hold the two pieces at right angles to each other. As you can see, there's my dead Miggy. And <laughs> hold the two pieces together like so. So allow me to put my fixings in the corner to hold these two pieces together at right angles. I understand this is 100% right angles even with the clamp on, but I can check that with a square. But it just allows me to hold them without having to worry too much, you know, and it works. But the other nice thing about these is, if for instance you were oh, doing a batch load of picture frames, for instance, or just four bits of wood, 45 degrees on each, each end of the piece of wood, you know, clamp, you want to clamp all together. Well, if you've got four of these, you could... Put your first one together with them, just loose. Yes, yeah, so they're a bit flop they're a bit floppy as you see. It's solid, but they're flop yeah, the bits are moving um, independently of each other. But you can put one on each corner, so you clamp it all together ready ready, but at that point it could be a good idea to um, fix them to a bench. Or position them on the bench, then release them and then screw them down if that's possible for you. And then you've got them all in the same place. So if, so if you're doing batching. Actually, it allows you to do multiple of the same quite easy. Um, looking at this, the thing problem is the screws would be behind the actual frame itself. So there would be a solution with that. All I would do is get a hot melt glue gun. You know, one of these funny things. Put a blob on the back of each of these clamps before you plonk it down onto your board. Or, or your bench, or whatever. Maybe you can take it off later. And then once you un once it's got, um, you can then unclamp it, and then put your screws into the board. So you get you've got like a fixed clamping arrangement. If you're doing multiples of the same thing, so it just speeds up the operation of actually the clamping operation. So that's something you could do. Go through the first observations of them. Like I say, I inherited them, so I didn't go out and buy them. Um, on this particular one, it's pretty much in the same condition as it was when I first received it. And if you can see here, it's how it works. This part here, 
squeeze up against the jaws of that part. So there's like this big wedge pushes into this jaw and it's and then it's you know squeeze the joint together. You might have to tap a bit a little tap in here and there to make sure it's um the joint is fully together and then as you clamp up that'll squeeze it tight. Squeeze it tight. So but yeah they, they, they seem quite quite nice and quite well made. And on this one I don't know why but the threaded arrangement has a bit of surface corrosion. That's probably obviously because the dampness in the winter you're within my workshop. So I've had them about two years now. And if I just release that one, it's gonna fall over. I'll, have to, I'll just have to hold that board like that. This one, having said, the threaded arrangement has a bit of surface corrosion. But saying that, it's not all the way along, it's obviously it's been exposed. It's probably to do my workshop than the actual item, and that I haven't actually put any oil on them or any form of lubricant to protect them from rust. You could use Liberan um, tool uh, polish, your yeah, tool wax, um, or tool lubricant, they call it, I think they call it tool lubricant. <coughs> you could put that on, that would protect it from moisture. Um, either that, or just a little bit of uh, engine oil, just smeared over, just, just, just protect it. But don't cake it in oil because all I do is I just gather dust and create like a paste which you don't obviously want but anyway I'm going to plug that back on so you drop it over so you roughly do it to the right spacing drop it over the top like so position and then you tighten the little devil up like so and as you can see there's a gap there at the moment so you might have to do a bit of jiggery pokery to get it together that's it it's together now they are single, nice and strong, so they're quite impressive really. You can get some some you can get some lighter versions of this sort of clamp, but they're not expensive. I think they're about they're under 20 euros or, um, a piece, which isn't bad for what they are. They're, they're well made and I think they're gonna last a very long time. So anyway, they're my stand oh if you were putting together a frame. Let's say at 45 degree corners. I'm going to quickly just show you. So here we go. Let's get all this rubbish out here. Okay. Right, I've got two bits of wood. 45 degrees I just whacked on there, just roughly, just so I can show you what I'm doing. And they're going to be joined together like so. Yeah? Imagine if you're doing a picture frame and you've got four of those. Yeah? In this case, we've got one because it's just for this example. And we have our little magical clamp arrangement, our Stanley 82133. Did I get that right? Let's have a quick peek. No, I didn't. <laughs> 83122 Stanley 45 degree corner clampy thingy. And you can clamp that from the top, like so. And then, then, then tie it up. Squeeze them together, tie it up. So you can do it that way if you want. Or if you had this screwed down to a bench in the correct position, you'd generally do it from the top. It's what it's designed for. It's really designed to go this way around. So you, you push your two bits of wood in here like so. And I think this is pretty much the, the widest, not quite the widest. Let's see how wide that goes. Still going. Oh, come out. So they unscrew. <laughs> I broke it! No, not really. Screw that in there like that. I'd have thought that it had a lock on it, but it hasn't. Really sensibly, you can't go too far. I'd say flush with the end. I didn't think they'd come out like that, to be honest. I'd have thought it had a stop. It looks like it should have a stop, but it hasn't. So I'm going to say that's a, that is pretty much a sensible width. It can go a little bit further, but it's saying probably, well it's saying 50 on there, but you could probably go to 55 mil. Let's just see how far that goes. No, you, you could push up to 60 mil. I'd say maximum throat on that is about 60 mil. But anyway, you can plonk them in there like that, and then you can tighten your clamp up. And 
to do a very good 45 there. All right, that one's wide than that one. Yeah, so you can tighten up like that so, and that holds that into situ. So if you're doing a frame, what have you, that's, that's working really well. But that isn't the only thing you could use this for. It's also a cross clamp as well. So if you're doing a board, in the sense you're like putting the carcass together and you've got a mid shelf, you could use this to clamp your mid shelf into position before you put your fixings in. So let's say for instance, you had that like so, and then you had the other bit of wood coming onto the side here like so, you could clamp that like that. So that's quite handy, you know, if you're doing carcassing or whatever, that is quite a useful um, tool for that, yeah, for that purpose. I would say ideally you'd want four, I've only got two, so I think I'm going to buy a couple more. Anyway, that is the Stanley. Anyway, that is the Stanley. Eight, three, one, two, I'll show you. Yeah, it's on there, there, and there. So it's the eight, I keep forgetting. See, that's dementia, it's got to be. All right, <laughs> eight, three, one, two, two. Stanley corner clamp arrangement also does intermediates as well if you're doing like shelves on a carcass. Anyway, if you'd be on the line, you can give us a thumbs up, would you? And uh, um, like and subscribe and you know, whatever else you're supposed to do. A comment if you've got any ideas, any questions about these things. Yeah, you could use it at the football match. Well, you managed to get to the end of my video. So I assume I must have grabbed your attention or you just couldn't be bothered to click off. So, Hammer that like button, hammer that subscribe button, and comment below. <laughs> yeah, and click that little bell, because then you get a nice little, little buzzy hum in your pocket, and that'd be me uploading another video. So, thank you for watching, and keep on woodworking, and keep on learning.